Hey, hi guys. Hi guys. I wish to take you through a simple way of updating items in a point of sale system created using Microsoft Access. Therefore, I launch my program. This is how my program uh, works. And the first step is to capture the products that I wish to have. Therefore, I capture my products here. For example, let's capture uh, some phones. Like now, you can have Techno Camon. It is Techno Camon 16S. Let's say in pack here are the quantities that we have in the packet. Let's say we have five. Then the buying price of each is Toro 500. Then the wholesale price shall be 13200 but the retail price will be 15600 That is for that um, particular Techno Camon 16S. Then we can also have another product, Techno Camon 16 Pro. Uh, this one, uh, we have five again. Buying price is 15600 Wholesale price will be 16 k and retail price will be 17500 uh, so ladies and gentlemen, I will use these two products to show you how that one works. Then we shall uh, do it together. And for that case, now that I have the products, let me uh, uh, see that uh, I have some customers that I will sell these products. Therefore, let's go to the sales module whereby I want to sell the phones. Therefore, I choose the date. Therefore, today is on 23rd. Then I just choose a customer. I want to sell to Taiwan Corrections. Then I need to sell uh, Techno Common 16 Pro. I want to sell one. And uh, the selling price is indicated here. Therefore, I can just, um, um, can just have to sell this one at 17,500. Uh, then, uh, once I do that one, that one is captured here. Let's say again, I want also to, first of all, I also put the serial number of that phone. Then I also sell another Common 16 Pro to the same guy. Then this one is at the same price. And then uh, this is what I have. So uh, let's go to the point of interest. I want to update the stock. We had five. Therefore, you can see I have sold two. So I just come to this point and update the stock. Therefore, if I update the stock here, if I update the stock, you see now two, uh, two items will be updated. Therefore, I click on yes. And for that case, if I go back to my stock for, for Common 16, that is for Common 16 Pro, ladies and gentlemen, you realize that uh, I had five, but now I have three uh, left in the stock. So if I go and sell the three here, I just go to the same, but I sell them to different uh, person. I have uh, three left, therefore I sell another common 16 Pro one. I also sell the last one there. I sell the last one there. Then this is um, 17,500. I also sell this one at 17500 I also sell this one at 17500 So, so far I have sold all my Common 16 Pro and therefore if I update this one, there we go, you see uh, the system, you see the, uh, the, the system here uh, is actually showing that three, you are about to update three, therefore I click on yes. Therefore, if now I uh, save that one, go across this, go back here, I go to check my common uh, 16S, sorry, Pro, you'll get that I have zero left in the stock. And that is exactly what I want us to do. So, uh, if I go again crossing this, ladies and gentlemen, you realize that uh, uh, I, am, I get a message that product restocking product needs restocking there is one product that need restocking 
would you like to see this now yes so if i click on yes i'll be uh, techno common 16 pro will be fragged and therefore products that require restocking therefore ladies and gentlemen i want to uh, take you through that one from scratch how you accomplish that so i will still use the same database uh, but show you how that one works therefore what we need to do um, now that we have this database complete we need to go to the querying part and therefore I need to create a query therefore I just go to uh, create therefore we just do that go to create then I just go to where the query design is therefore in my query design these are the tables that are available therefore I will go and take the products table I will also um, take the sales details table this one then there is the field these are the fields available therefore the field that i need updated here is the product id which can be duplicated you cannot use a field that is primary key that one will restrict uh, duplication of your staff so i need to have that field that is the sale id that is this the item id in the sales table I also need to have the quantity that I need updated. That is the impact. Impact are the quantities. You see now these are the, the number of product. That is this is the quantity of product so uh, bought. So uh, from this point here, I need to create an update query and therefore I just go to this point here. I change my query to update. If you hit update, this field here comes up. Update to and therefore for that case here uh, i need to uh, type that is to uh, type uh, what i need here that is in the criteria but the calculation will be done in the update too so in the criteria here that is this one i will just type forms forms then the form name the form one name is sale sale therefore i take this form this is the form then the name of the sub form you will notice that my system has a sub form and therefore i type the name of the sub form the name of the sub form is uh, there are two one row west you see now it comes up this is the name of my sub form then uh, dot form it is actually dot form that way. then the field the field that i want the field that i want uh, updated is said that one that is the field that uh, i need updated this uh, that is how that one is written so I can just increase that. therefore forms this is the main form this is a sub form uh, uh, name dot form and then this field here this is the field that is uh, being referenced then i go to update to i want to update the quantity uh, of the product board they should be deducted uh, whenever I run this uh, query so this one we just type in pack the field that is the in 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 pack in pack that is the quantity that comes up then minus now therefore this one will be minus this minus mm -hmm. it will be minus this just this is to lead the part therefore I just got to type this minus this but the last part will minus the quantity till minus the the quantity therefore this one will be minus the quantity the quantity is this one this one this is the quantity sold so what this calculation is doing it will subtract this one it will take this one then minus this one but uh, remember since this is a query i have used a sub form inside the main form therefore you have to read that one that is this the impact this is the quantity bought minus the quantity sold and the quantity sold is inside a sub form that is inside the main form the sub form name is lowest price sub form the main form name is sales entry so what is happening here it is the products quantity 
minus the quantity sold through a subform that is inside the main form sales entry. Therefore, basically, that's how I have had gone through that one. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, you can download copies of these uh, programs from my website. They are just on my website. You just need to go to the URL down just below this video. And then you'll be in a position to get all these codes, all these uh, source, codes, uh, source codes for free. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. See you in my next sessions.